Jay Powell doesn't seem particularly worried about inflation. In fact, he said inflation dynamics don't change on a dime, were Powell's uh, words. So he's watching it, right? Right. And, the, you know, the Fed has said that they're not even thinking about thinking about rising rates until 23 or 24. Um, and I don't think, you know, really the question that we should be asking ourselves is, are we having inflation right now? But really, how high and how fast might it run? And that's a big question that the, probably the Fed is, is looking at. Um, if you look so far this year, interest rates continue to rise. The yield curve continues to steepen. And if you look at commodities prices, I mean, almost across the board, they're jumping. Just as, as an example, uh, crude this year is up 20 percent uh, and timber is up over 50 percent so far this year. So it's definitely something that investors should be cognizant of. So tell me about your outlook. What do what you see the second half of 2021? Um, is the economy set to rebound based on what you're seeing? Absolutely. Um, you see constant stimulus being pumped in by federal governments around the globe. Um, for example, January retail sales just crushed estimates coming in at over 5% versus estimates, consensus estimates of just over 1%. Um, the Atlanta Fed's GDP Now model is estimating that first quarter GDP this year will increase at a 9.5% annualized rate. So we are very bullish on the economy rebounding in the later half of the year. Um, looking at vaccine rollouts and COVID cases. U.S. just had 60,000 COVID cases, which was the lowest since May, um, as we see these, these vaccine rollouts continue, um, which is all, you know, I think very bullish for, for the reopening of the economy in the latter half of the year. Yeah, retail sales. I mean, we got a good number on the last round. We're watching Macy's closely with its numbers. Um, are people going to be spending in the back half of the year? I mean, a lot of people haven't recovered their jobs. That's true. There, there have been some sectors that have been really hit hard by the economy. Um, but, you know, we're not even factoring in the additional $1.9 trillion in stimulus that the government's trying to put forth right now um, to hopefully help out a lot of those people that have really been hit hardest by the pandemic. Um, but the reality is, is that there are a lot of people that are able to work remotely, they're able to work from home, and they're really just building up their, their household savings. And um, there's a lot of people with a lot of money that are, that are looking to spend and get back out there and have some new sense of normalcy. You know, people wanna get back on vacation and go spend things, spend money on things other than home improvements, um, which is, you know, what we've seen a lot of in the past year because everybody is, is stuck at home. Yeah, I know you and your team are generally uh, usually optimistic. You use the word bullish, very bullish for the second later half of, you know, for a recovery of the economy. Is there anything that you think could stall? Is there any investment that you'd say, uh, you know, I just wouldn't do it now? Um, I mean, we've been a little hesitant on some of the big tech names at frothier valuations just because we see inflation continuing and rates continuing to rise. And some of these companies that are trading, you know, 50, 75, 100 times forward earnings, um, that becomes a lot harder to realize those high expectations as we see interest rates rise um, and, and some other areas that could really be detrimental to their growth. So I would say that those are areas that we're a little hesitant on and, and uh, wary of moving forward. It's definitely something that we want to own. It's just not necessarily something we want to be buying into right now.